One of the main downsides of having a smaller 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen uh, can be noticed when you're trying to compose a message. As you can see, even with my skinny little fingers, uh, the QWERTY keyboard keys are tiny in comparison. I could hit sort of maybe four or five keys at least with just one finger press. Um, so you've got to pay a lot of attention when you're actually type, typing a message uh, to make sure you actually do hit the right keys. Uh, if you do hit an incorrect key, for example, if we just uh, put an R on the end of the word test there, uh, you can see it brings up um, the word that we've actually typed there correctly on the side. Um, but then it guesses which word we might actually be going for. I mean, it's guessed year there um, and test there. So you, if you just press space, it'll enter year, uh, which is obviously not what we wanted. We wanted test. So um, if we just hit test, there we go, it'll actually put test in for us instead. So it does try and help you out with the fact that it has got small keys by predicting what you're supposed to be entering. Um, but sometimes if a word isn't in the dictionary, it'll just enter the incorrect word for you, which is a bit annoying. Each key that you tap um, gives you a little bit of uh, haptic feedback in the form of a little vibration. Um, sometimes for some reason it vibrates a little bit more strongly, I don't know why, it seems to be a little bit of a glitch I've noticed. Um, and if you should want a slightly larger QWERTY keyboard you can just rotate the phone on its side and we get this nice landscape keyboard. As you see, a nice larger, bit larger keys than before and you can sort of tap them with both thumbs uh, more happily on the sides there. Uh, the only thing is, with this keyboard, I seem to notice that there's some lag. If you're typing fast or you've got a long message, you can see there, uh, letters can take a while to actually come up in the um, on the screen after you've typed them. So um, it's not perfect, uh, but it'll get you by, and it is certainly better than maybe using the portrait keyboard, which is just a little bit too small, um, even with my skinny fingers. On top of that, it's also worth noting that if you didn't want to use a QWERTY keyboard, if you're maybe more at home using a keypad, there is an option for a phone keypad. So as you see there, we've got the usual sort of three key, uh, three or four letters per key uh, with the numeric keypad. Um, or even if you've uh, perhaps had a BlackBerry or something in the past that has a 20 key keyboard, then the compact QWERTY keyboard might be more for you, uh, with slightly bigger keys than the full QWERTY keyboard, um, but only two letters per key instead of having uh, one letter having each its own key. Um, so it's a pretty nice little system, you do at least get a bit of option um, but it's not as easy to text as if you had a proper keyboard or a phone with a larger display or maybe a capacitive display. And so believe it or not the uh, HTC Tattoo can even make phone calls, who would have thought? Uh, and here you've got the dialer screen, as you can see you've just got a normal dial pad um, and also some recently dialed contacts. Uh, and there's a nice smart search feature as well, so if we wanted to search for example for Jack Black you just hit J and A on the keypad there and we get Jack Black come up. Uh, also because of letters C and K uh, allocated to those same keys, we get Clark Kent as well, for example. Uh, you can also go straight to your favourites from here and it just list all your favourites straight there in the uh, favourites pane. Um, or you can just shoot straight across to all your contacts. Um, then you've got grouped contacts as well if you've created any groups. Uh, contact updates if any of your Facebook friends have updates. And your recently dialed contacts as well. Uh, the Facebook integration is particularly good on the uh, HTC Tattoo, just as it was on the Hero. So if you just go into uh, one of your Facebook contacts uh, and go across to their updates, for example, you can um, see any updates that they might have made. Um, also in the same one you can see uh, any messages you've got from them, any SMS or email messages, uh, as well as all their details. Um, or you could even see any photo albums that they've got on either Flickr or Facebook, and then you can actually just hop straight into one of those and just look through their photo albums. So it's a really nice experience. You can see you can just uh, search through and just uh, tap on a photograph just to load it up full screen. So um, very, very nice experience indeed. Makes it sort of a lot easier than just having to log on to Facebook through the um, through the web browser. Certainly a lot better just to uh, go on like that. So I'm just going to quickly show you web browsing on the HTC Tattoo. Uh, as you can see we've got a browser shortcut there but we can otherwise go across to the bookmarks um, widget and you can see we can just scroll through and find whichever bookmark we want or add a new bookmark quite easily. Um, we've added mobile burn at the top here so we just have a look at that. Um, and it's actually loaded up previously so we just let it reload. Um, this is on the Wi-Fi connection so it does reload quite quickly uh, but we averaged around 1400 kbps on the Vodafone network in the UK so uh, the HSDPA is pretty quick as well. Um, as you can see it's all loaded up already, um, there's a little bit left to go, just a few adverts, but it's already moving around quite fluidly with our thumbs scrolling. Uh, unfortunately because it's a resistive touchscreen there is no multi-touch, no pinch gestures or anything to be had, so as you see as we touch the display we get these two buttons for zooming, so you can just hit one of those to zoom in and out, 
which isn't too much more difficult. Unfortunately, the screen being a QVGA screen means that once you're zoomed out, the text isn't particularly easy to read. It goes quite blocky and unreadable. Um, but it is quite at least quite a fast experience um, to navigate the page and scoot around uh, just by swiping on the display. And if we actually go into one of the, one of the articles now, I can show you the uh, text reflowing. Right, so that's loaded up now, and you can see we've got an image that's loading up there. Um, and as we're zoomed in, the text has just reflowed to fit the screen. If we um, actually tap to zoom back out, you'll notice that the text then extends across the display a bit more. If we give it a second, there you go. You can see it's uh, reflowed so that it actually fits the whole screen, the whole width of the display. Um, and then if we just tap to zoom back in, it should reflow it back to um, fit the screen again. There you go back in a narrower column so that we can quite easily just scroll downwards instead of having to scroll side to side as well. So overall it's a very good experience, especially for uh, a budget Android handset. Uh, web browsing is quite exceptional. So anyway, that's a quick look at the HTC Tattoo, uh, the latest Android phone from HTC. I'm Russ Resfriz from MobileBoard and AndroidAuthority.com.